Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you a few ways that your students can search for Creative Commons licensed images that they can reuse in their presentations and other digital productions. So I'm going to start here with Flickr. Um, on Flickr, you'll find thousands of Creative Commons licensed images. Let's say I want to search for a panda bear. So I'm in the upper right corner. I did my panda bear search. And now I'm going to select advanced search over here in the right. I'm going to scroll down and say only search within Creative Commons licensed content. And I might select content to modify, adapt, or build upon. Uh, I might choose that option if my students are going to grab an image and then add some text on top of it or they're going to grab the image and then uh, you know add some fun comic strip type effects to it um, because then they're modifying the the work so let's go ahead and now we can search and this will bring up a smaller set of images let's pick this one and as i scroll down here I can see who took the picture. And I'll scroll down even further, and you'll see I have CC Attribution Helper. So this gives me the HTML code that I can use if I'm going to put this picture into a blog post, for example. It also gives me the text I can use if I'm going to use this picture on a slide or on uh, an infographic. That does not appear by default in Flickr. I'm using a Chrome extension called Flickr CC Attribution Helper. And with that installed, anytime I'm on Flickr and I have a Creative Commons licensed picture, that code is generated for me. So it's a big time saver for me. So the other way we might search for Creative Commons licensed imagery is on Google Images. And chances are your students are probably going to go to Google Images as one of their first options. Let's do that same search for a panda bear. Now we've got tons of panda bear pictures and your student might come along and say, oh, that's a cool picture. I'm going to right click on it and save it. Uh, that's not a good idea because first of all, we, we're not sure if we can reuse that image or not. Uh, and I also try to steer people away from randomly downloading images uh, whose source they're not sure of. So let's go ahead and now look for, in our advanced search, we're going to look for images that are labeled for reuse. And again, I might look for images that are free to use, share, or modify. And now we'll search. And now we have, again, a smaller set of images. And of course, Google Images gives you some extra tools for searching by size. Maybe we want medium size images. So we can find images that are a little closer to, to our needs. Maybe we want some line art, or clip art instead of a photo. We can search that way. And our third option here is to search on the Creative Commons website itself. Now, if you just go to creativecommons.org, a lot of people often will put in their search term up here. And that's actually just searching on the Creative Commons website for the content within it. We want to use the Explore option for finding Creative Commons licensed works. Let's say we're going to look on Flickr, or we're going to look on Photopedia, or we're going to look on Google. We can select that ahead of time. I've already selected Flickr here. And then I'll enter my search term. And the difference of, between searching here in Creative Commons versus searching on Flickr itself is that when I do this search now, it's still going to redirect me to Flickr, but it's going to have automatically applied that filter of looking for Creative Commons licensed work. So those are three ways that your students can look for Creative Commons licensed content that they can reuse in their digital productions.